booking this, it was such a, had such a direct connection and emotional relationship with this character so much so that I was like, this is uncanny. This is weird. <laughs> this is like spooky. <laughs> um, that it was immediately this sort of like wake up, this sort of uh, um, shake. It shook me out of a mental fog, I think, or of a, a maybe a spiritual fog of um I was very cynical before this I was really skeptical of things and cynical of things and um uh I only saw the I think the bad in religion and churches and the hypocrisy and the abuse and like I was very uh disappointed I think in in some church experiences and some interactions with very devout church going people and so I kind of just like threw the baby out with the bathwater. I thought this is um, this is hypocritical and and this isn't the Jesus that I grew up with. This isn't the Jesus that I want him to be, which is um, what I think the the chosen has portrayed, which is this revolutionary, politically <laughs> antagonistic, um, both. Uh, bringer of peace and also a disruptor of of society and culture. And I just, I love the way he's been portrayed. And I love how these stories that sometimes get um, maybe misinterpreted or uh, overlooked even, these all these healings, all these miracles, and then also all of his lessons, the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes, like what that actually looks like in practice. To get to watch that and witness that in person and then also in the show is it like has reminded me who Jesus is. The The show is not, a, a you know, it's not Jesus, but like it reminds us of who Jesus is was and is and mm -hmm. and then that has made me like go back to the gospels and like reread these things that i did in childhood that i loved in childhood